Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to a little bit of a science short regarding Gran Turismo 7 because in this one we're going to ask the question, do a little bit of science and try and work out just how many people are actually playing sport mode at the moment. Have you ever wondered how many people are actually participating in sport mode? Probably not, it's probably the sort of question that only I ask myself but yeah, I thought it'd be an interesting little test just to see just how many people are actually competitively setting lap times in Daily Race B this week and then we can compare it to the same race in Gran Turismo Sport and just get that kind of idea as in to is there more people playing, is there less people playing? Let's find out. Now the best way to do this, I figured, was rather than trying just clicking through the leaderboards to get all the way to the end of the leaderboards, because there was going to be obviously tens of thousands of people, that was going to take a lot of clicking, it was going to take a long time. I thought the best thing, jump into Daily Race B, I've not set a lap time and set an incredibly slow lap time, which should put me towards the back of the leaderboard, and then I can just click through to my name and we'll instantly be able to see how many people have actually set a lap time. So that is exactly what we are doing here, and with 33 minutes and 3 seconds, 0 0.232, we cross the line in our Ferrari. Now I'm reliably told this is actually the quickest Ferrari time on the leaderboard. I haven't quite researched that myself, but yeah, definitely not a quick enough lap time to put me in my top 10 friends list. Far too many sweaty quick people there for me. But let's go into the global rankings now, and you can see that figure at the top there, 51,985 now. Will that put me last on the leaderboard? We can click through to our position just by pressing triangle and as you can see, we are plumb last. Of all the people that have set a lap time, we are plumb last. 51,986. Now, that's not an insignificant number of people that have set a lap time, but if I was Polyphony Digital, I would be slightly worried by that number. I went on to Kudus Prime I checked the last time we had Group 3 at Spa on GT Sport and 70,000 people had set a lap time. So that's around about a 25% decrease over GT Sport. Now I'm doing this video on Saturday morning so it's well into the end uh, or towards the end of the week for this daily race so there's not going to be too many more lap times set to take that number up. Let's just say it's not going to go above 55,000 is it? So yeah, that's a fairly big reduction and quite a worrying number I reckon for Polyphony Digital in regards to how many people appear to be playing sport mode. Now this is not all encompassing of course, it's just a kind of a little bit of a snapshot. Uh, not everybody who's playing sport mode is going to be setting a lap time uh, on Daily Race B but it does give a very interesting comparison and in my opinion a slightly worrying comparison. There's definitely a sense when you're playing the Daily Races that they're not quite as busy as they used to be on GT Sport. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of a snapshot into how many people are playing sport mode. If it has, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks now.